What's up traders, welcome back to Forex Life. Hope you all are good. Hope the new year so far has been treating you guys well. Um, I'm back guys. I know I've been missing for quite some time, but I just had to organize everything to get the new year started so that we can reach our goals for 2023. And I hope that you guys um, have your goals set for this year. Take it slow and steady. Remember, slow and steady always wins the race. But nevertheless, guys, we're going to jump into this video right now. Um, I set out a question in my Telegram group asking my students and my followers, what are you struggling with in the market? Okay, um, a few students sent me direct messages telling me exactly what they are struggling with in the market and we will be tackling that one by one one video at a time so if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe click that subscribe button like this video and turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when i do drop the new video also comment down below what you are struggling with as a trader whether it be in the forex market or in synthetic market with catching spikes trading vix step jump gold nasdaq anything anything you are struggling with currently in the market let me know in the comments below um in the description i'll also leave a link to my telegram group we can go ahead click on the link join our community we're trying to grow our community and we want to change more lives than what we are currently changing so make sure to join our community of traders and see what we are doing in the forex market and in the synthetic market as well Okay, so the first message that I received was from one of my followers that said they are struggling with market structure, how to actually place a trade on volatility pairs because they are working a nine to five. So I'm not going to go in depth with market structure. If you want the in depth course, you guys can, of course, go ahead and subscribe to my course. It's hundred dollars basic trading course for beginners will teach you all the ins and outs that you need to know and the way that i personally trade as well okay all of those details will be in my telegram group as well but we're going to start off with market structure so market structure is basically what the name says it is the structure of the market the way the market moves now in any market whether it be forex whether it be synthetics whether it be stocks whether it be crypto anything that you are trading the market moves in three ways we have an uptrend we have a downtrend and we have consolidation or trending market a ranging market okay so ranging market consolidation market that is when the market moves sideways so let's see if we can find an example of a ranging market So over here, if we look closely, where is that now? That disappeared. If we look closely, we can see that the market is moving sideways, okay, which means the market is ranging. So that's what we call consolidation in the market. Then when we're looking for an uptrend, the market is making higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows. That is how we determine the structure of the market is in an uptrend and in a downtrend the market is making lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. So let me just give you guys a quick breakdown of how that happens. So we have the market moving up, comes down, goes up, comes down goes up and comes down now remember the market will never move in this exact formation okay it will never move in this exact formation but looking at this this is an uptrend how do we determine that this is an uptrend over here we have a high right we have a high and over here we have a higher high why do we call this a higher high we call this point in the market a higher high because it's higher than the previous high. So price went down, it broke through this high and it created a new high in the market. Okay, it created a new high in the market. We call it a higher high because it's higher than the previous high. Over here, 
we have another higher high. Why? Because it is higher than the previous high. This will be our low. And this will be our higher low. Why will this be a higher low? Because this low in the market, the price currently is, is higher than the previous low. So it's like a little ladder moving up. High, higher, higher. Low, higher low, and higher low. Because it's moving and it's creating a low higher than the previous low. This is how we determine market structure and uptrend. Okay, we will always see a little break over here. So the market will break, come back, retest, go back up. This should actually be here. Sorry. Like I said, the market does not move in a perfect formation, but that is just a little quick review on market structure on an uptrend, where the market make higher highs and higher lows. Okay. Then we're going to look at a downtrend. How does the market move in a downtrend? Now it's exactly the same as an uptrend. So the market will come down. The market will go up. Market will come down. And the market will go up. Market will come down. Market will go up. And market will come down. So here we can clearly see that the market is moving in a downtrend, right? It's heading downwards, the downside. Now, how do we determine this market structure? So if we're coming from an uptrend, so we're coming from an uptrend. Okay. So we have our higher low higher high, higher low, higher high. What happens over here? The market fails to break above, uh, the price fails to break above this higher high and create a new higher high. Then it just creates what we call a high, a equal high, because this high in the market is now equal to this high. So this is what we call a high in the market, an equal high. Okay, so now we're waiting for price. We're waiting to see what happens. Remember, it's all about patience. We need to wait to see what the market is going to show us and which direction it's going to go. We're waiting to see the market comes down. Okay, we have an equal low. There's no change of character in the market just yet. Price did not break structure. Nothing happened. It's basically just arranging a small little range in this um, so in this resistance zone, in the support zone, nothing broke structure. Then we come back up and we see, okay, now we created a lower high. Why do we call this a lower high? Because this high is lower than the previous high. Price comes down, price goes back up. Now we have our break of structure. Price broke and it came back up. So it broke this previous lows, created a brand new low and came back up. What do we call this? A lower high. Why do we call this a lower high? Because this high is lower than the previous high. And we go again, price comes down, price comes up, and it creates a lower high. This low is lower than the previous high. And it's like a little ladder, like I said, like steps, it's just going down. Same with our lows. So with our lows over here, this we will call a lower low. Why? Because it's lower than the previous low. So this low over here will be our lower low. Why? Because it is lower than the previous low. As well as this low, lower than the previous low. And that is how we determine a downtrend. Okay? So we covered the uptrend. Uptrend creates higher highs and higher lows. Downtrend creates lower, lower highs and lower lows. Now we're just going to look at a ranging market. Remember what I said about the ranging market? Ranging market, consolidation market, basically means the market is moving sideways. So the market is not creating a higher high and it's not creating a lower high. 
we're having equal highs and we're having equal lows and that's why we call it a ranging market so we can have a look and we see all of these highs are equal and all of these lows are equal so there's no indication of an uptrend there's no indication of a downtrend so what do we do in this instance when we have a ranging market you can trade within the range so you can buy at the bottom all the way up sell at the top all the way down but what you wait for in this market is you always wait for a break of structure you want to see price move away okay you don't want to see price just move till you, you want to see price move away from the the support zone if it breaks to, to the downside and you want to see that retest and then you want to go in for your sell okay same to the upside you want to see price move away you want to see price come down for that retest and then you want to enter and you want to take that long buy you don't want a small break just like this because what happens 90% of the time with a small break like that you get the retest like this you're going to enter the market thinking the market is going up and then it pushes straight through and it plummets and it goes all the way down so patience is the name of the game you need to have patience in order to wait for the market to show you what it wants to do and where it wants to go okay? and you just follow the market that's what you do you follow the market so i've covered market structure which one of my followers asked me to do and then also asked how do you trade if you are working a nine to five so we're looking at volatility 100 index and this is on the four hour time frame so if you're working a nine to five you one to two good trades for the day okay that's all you need you need one trade or you need two trades you don't need multiple trades within the day because you will be, you will be swing trading okay which means that your trade will you'll be in the trade for a few hours so what you want to do first is when you open your chart you want to go to the four hour time frame and you want to look at current price okay current price which means this whole section on your chart you don't want to be looking back all the way over here and see what price is doing there you want to see what price is doing right here in this section because you want to be setting your sell limits and you want to be setting your buy limits in order for you to take a trade so when looking at this market we can see okay we have a nice resistance zone over here the market is in a down trend it's making it lower lows lower highs lower lows lower high lower low lower high lower low and here we had a little bit of a break of structure market then created an equal high equal low broke and created a higher high okay it, this high is now higher than all of our previous lower highs and the market was ranging and just created equal highs over here over here we had equal lows mark up that zone this is just based off market structure no other price action okay we have our equal lows and here we have our break of structure so now we have a nice break of structure over here we're going to go down to the one hour time frame and we're going to see if we caught a nice retest okay we're also going to mark up our resistance zone over here sorry our support zone over here where we can see market has respected the zone multiple times and it's currently at the zone so we're going to go down to our one hour time frame okay we had a break we had a retest price went down again came back and plummeted that is what we wanted we wanted that nice move however we missed that move we're currently at a resistance zone but we are still in a downtrend we don't have any confluence to take this trade we don't have any break of structure we don't have a new higher high being formed showing us that it's going into an uptrend this is just based off market structure no candlestick patterns no trend lines nothing okay so what we're going to do is we are then going to wait for price to show us where it wants to go but now it's the morning you need to go to work what are you going to do alternatively what i would do is 
I would then go ahead and I would place a buy limit. Okay, so I will place, I will go ahead, you, so you right click, you right click on the area that you want, and you can go, why is it no? No. No, no, no. I want to set a buy limit. Why is it not giving me the option? There we go. Okay, that is now a sell limit. I want to change that. I want to modify the order. Just delete it. I need a buy stop. It's not going to move. Give me one second. Let me just see. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to put some pending order. We want a buy limit. And the price we want it at. Three four nine one. So we put in three four nine one. This is just an example to show you guys. My stop loss I will put at the bottom of the zone because this zone shows me it has been respected. However, if it does break the zone, it will continue into a downtrend. So I'll have my stop loss at double three double five, double three double five. Sorry, double three double five, and my take profit. Where would I put my take profit? Because this is the one hour time frame, I will put my take profit at the previous high. Okay, where I know price would go back to retest. And this currently here, we can see price has acted as support, acted as support, resistance, resistance, currently resistance. So I will put my take profit, my first take profit over here, and my second take profit over there. So my first take profit would be 3727. Seven. Three seven two seven. I stop. It doesn't want to place because price is already there. So let's just let's just hypothetically say that we place the buy limit. Let me just move the buy limit a bit up. Let me just do this quickly. A buy stop three five. What's that? Three. Three five three zero. Three five three zero. Okay. So we placed our buy our buy stop. There's our buy stop. There's our take profit area, and here is our stop loss. Now we want to put in a second trade because you want to take profit too. However, you don't need to do that. The sell limit I need to delete. You don't need to. You're already gaining $39 profit on this trade. If it hits a stop loss, you're losing $35. So it's a basically a one-to-one -one risk reward. If you want to target the second one, you can just adjust your stop loss by clicking and dragging onto it if you want to add two positions you add another buy stop and you set your take profit over there so if we move our take profit over here to this zone where we think it will go all the way up to it will be a 93 dollar gain on that trade but this is just based off market structure and if you're working a nine to five remember there's more things that go into taking a trade you have your trend lines, you have your Fibonacci, you have all of these things that you need to look at when taking a trade. But this is just the basics of market structure with a break and retest strategy. Okay, and like I said, this most likely will break through because it is still on a downtrend. There has been no confluence as to it going into uptrend, but just for explanation purposes, to show you guys how to place your buy limits, sell limits, buy stops and sell stops. When you are leaving for work in the morning, you did your analysis, you place it, you leave it. 
Okay, you place your, your your trades and you leave it there for the day. You don't go and check if it hits your stop loss, it hits your stop loss. If it hits your take profit, it hits your take profit. That is just how trading works. And you're going to be busy throughout the day. So you don't want to be checking on your phone and stressing about the trade. You enter the trade, you put your limits and you leave the trade. Okay, it's a high probability trade because you made sure all your, your, your confluence were met in order to take the trade. Remember, if you have three or more confluences to take a trade, you go for it. Don't doubt yourself. Don't let fear take over when taking the trade. Okay, if you look at it and you're like, okay, this is, this is in a downtrend. I can see over here we have one touch, two touches. Okay, we might come up for our third touch over here. Okay, let's see. I'm going to draw my fib. Let's see where my fib takes me. Like these are all of the things that you can do. And then look at these confluences and be like, this is my trading criteria that I trade. And these are the things that I look at when I trade. And if my things are not met, I do not take the trade. I do not place my limits. I do not take the trade. It's just, it's completely up to you what your, your confluences are, what your trading criteria is when you do take a trade. And once your three to four um, criterias are met, place the trade. Place the limits. Place your stop loss. Don't place a, okay, I'm going to make a completely separate video regarding stop losses. Someone did ask me about that. Regarding stop losses, because people have unrealistic stop losses. If you go in a little drawdown of one dollar, two dollar, people start to panic. You need to understand. You need to give the market the space that it needs to breathe. Remember, we spoke about market structure, uptrend and downtrend. So, if you are in a downtrend and you enter a sell over here, right over here, right, because you saw, it looks like. A nice triple top over here where three rejections equal highs and you have all the confluence on met and you're going to take this trade you can't go and place your stop loss right over there let me just remove this this box quickly you can't go and place your stop loss there and your take profit sorry your entries and your stop loss is there because you want to have the tightest stop loss on the planet and you want your chart to look cool. It's not about looking cool. It's not about who has the, the, the smallest stop loss. We are here to make money and we are here to make money the correct way. And in order for you to place a proper stop loss, it's not of how much you are willing to risk on your trade. You can't say I'm willing to risk $2 on this trade. It's not going to work out in your favor. It will come and it will hit your stop loss and then it will go all the way down to your take profit. You need to place it where market shows you. The market will show you where you need to place your stop loss. So here in this zone, the market was going in an uptrend. So we have our previous highs over here. So we know if market is going to, if this market is going to break and it's going to create a brand new high, it was going to create a brand new high. The market is going in an uptrend. And if it hits my stop loss over there, it hits my stop loss. Because the market is in changing direction. But that is a video I'll make separately regarding stop losses for you guys. But this is just what, what I wanted to show you guys. The importance of market structure in trading. And how to place your buy limits and your sell limits. If you're marking up your charts and you see an entry before you leave for work. Go ahead, take the entry into the market, place your stop loss, place your take profit, close down your MT5 on your phone, go to work, have a productive day at work. And once you're done working, you open, you check your phone and you see, okay, I'm in profit or my take profit was hit, my stop loss was, was hit. If you're in profit, you just adjust your stop loss, your trailer stop loss, move it into profits and you continue holding your trade. But you guys cannot be scared of drawdown in the market. You are not going to get a sniper entry every single time. No matter if you're trading smart money concepts or all of these things, it does not matter. It does not matter how you are going to trade. You are going to take losses in the market. That is just how Forex works. You are going, no one has a 100% win rate. No one. You're going to have drawdown 
on some trades. You're going to have losses on trades. As long as your wins are more than your losses. If you're taking 10 trades for the week and you have a 60% win rate and you have a risk uh, a risk to reward of 1 to 2 that you trade, a 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio and you lose you lose 4 trades but you win 6 trades, you are a profitable trader. The outcome for that week is you ended up in profits, way more profits than your losses. You made profit for that week. You guys, there is so many new traders out there and these Instagram traders that put out this unrealistic expectation of trading to new traders. So they show you the flashy cars, they show you the money. I have been keeping myself away from doing these things on my social media platforms and and that is the reason why my social media platforms does not grow. You guys will see, I, I ask you guys all the time, please follow my Instagram, follow me on TikTok, follow me on YouTube. These are the platforms where I educate people regarding trading. But because I don't post flashy things and money, no one is attracted to the page. And it's okay with me because the people that do follow me and do take my advice will understand that this is the real journey about trading. Because I can easily take out cash and make a video. I can easily flash your cars. I can do all of these things. But what is the point? Because you're not going to get there overnight. You guys need to understand. These people that are showing you that you are flipping an account. They're flipping a $30, $100, $200, $1,000 account in one day. That is not called trading. That is called gambling. No trader will give you that advice to say flip an account. Because when you trade, you treat it like a job. You want to be making 1-2% to 2 profit daily, even if you're trading on a $10 account. Now, because the profit margin is so little, your traders tend to get greedy. What must I do with $1 profit for the day? But if you take that $1 profit for the day, and you compound it, and you take a $10, and you make your 1-2% to 2 daily for 6-8-10 to 8 to 10 months, do you know how much profit you will have? You will have so much profit. You would have grown so much as a trader firstly. And your account would have grown so much as well. Because you would have taken that $10. And consistency would have been built in you. Discipline would have been built. As well as all your trading criteria. Trading a plan. You would have become the best trader that you ever were. If you follow the principle of growing 1-2% to 2 per day. That should be your target. 1-2% to 2 per day, no matter what your account size is. Whether it be a $10 account, 100 10000 100000 1-2% daily should be your profit target. But okay, that's enough. That is for another video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video regarding market structure. I hope you guys understand it. Know how to look for an uptrend, a downtrend, and a consolidation market, a ranging market. Like I said, if you guys have anything that you are struggling with in your trading, go ahead, comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next video.